Hi guys, I thought I'd do a wholesaledress.net review for you because I've had a look around the internet and on YouTube and I can't actually find a positive one, which is quite weird because I had a really good experience and I thought I'd share that with you. Um, I'm going to start off with some tips. Make sure you read the reviews, they'll be at the bottom of each product. Also, because the prices are so cheap, don't expect amazing quality and don't be disappointed. And be aware of shipping rates, that's another thing, that's where they tend to get you because the product is so cheap. Um, these do come from China, there's quite a few different methods, they do it by weight as well, so make sure you check that before you actually decide you want it. Um, I recommend using PayPal. Be aware that the product may differ from the photo. They tend to take some photos from other things like even famous designers and just remake it. It is cheap material so it won't last forever, which you should know already. Don't expect to be amazing. Um, I recommend buying a tester before you purchase a whole lot of things. That's what I did. I bought one thing first just to see how it was. Um, I actually got these. Don't get carried away before you try anything out because you may be disappointed. Um, shoes are definitely the best quality. I've had good luck with shoes, so I think you should go there. They have plus sizes, which means it's sizes 8 and up. You just have to do a specific search. It's not really organized in any particular way, so that's a bit annoying. Check the measurements definitely do that. For example with the shoes, uh, 39 is their equivalent to Australian 7, which I'm a 7, so it's perfect. And they do have the measurements, I just measured my foot. Skirts and dresses are very, very, very short. Do not be shocked. Make sure you check the measurements again. I'll give you just a brief description of how the site is laid out. Um, it's a bit confusing at first. Down the left side of your browser there's a list of categories. So so you can do that or you can sort by new arrivals or you can in the little search bar but I must say their names are quite funny. I think this was here yeah, fashion crossed vamp popular style wedge or I don't know something like that. Um, they're very descriptive titles but at least you know what it is. They do have a great range but again don't be surprised on quality. You're not paying for quality, you're paying for cheap. Very, very cheap but I definitely recommend you give it a go. I think I'll just show you some of the stuff that I've gotten, which I'm happy with, and you should check it out. This one here was probably about um, $2, $3, I'm not sure. But it's actually really amazing quality. This is elastic and um, some chiffon flowers. I really want to make these, they're gorgeous. And it's just like that on the inside, so it's got the stud closure. Oh. And you can add items to your wish list um, once you've created an account it's just your email and just a random password and um, so you can always go back to them you don't have to favorite them but I got these oh, let me see really nice and then just that's the back um, and then I got these and I love these I think these are like two dollars I should really check the prices before I do anything but they're so cute little owl earrings I will go on to some clothes. Uh, I haven't really bought many. I did get this skirt as a present, um, but it was way too short to wear, so I cut it up and used a fabric. Um, but I got these. They looked really cool on the uh, picture, so don't laugh at me. They're leggings. I know, I'm kind of in shock, but um, the fabric is very see-through. I haven't actually worn them yet. I don't think I'm game enough to, I think they might just sit in my wardrobe, but they're pretty cool. I mean, I think they're cool. And it's just elastic here, so, um, yeah, I don't know, I think they're pretty cool. Um, another thing I got was this dress, which I absolutely love. I'll see if you can see it. It's just lace sleeves and a peplum style skirt. Again, it is super short. There's, I think that there's a zip down the left. Oh, it's right. Down the right side here. Just an invisible zip. I'm not sure if you can see that. But I've worn this probably about three times. And as you can see, the elastic's already in the lace is sort of coming out and it doesn't look very good. But other than that, um, I think this is a pretty good buy. It's cute. 
and I actually released it the belt. There. It's cute. I say cute too much, I'm sorry already. And then I got this pink blouse. It's not really me, but it's cute. Um, looks really good with a tight black skirt, but, and then it's got this at the back. Um, I wore this once, and because the size is so small, I actually broke, um, yeah, so I've pinned that back. Got to do some sewing. Um, so that's just come loose, but little wedge, um, got them last year. They're pretty good. As you can see, though, this is, it's not the best quality. It's already a bit, I've had to glue that down a couple of times, but I think they're about $10, so it's all good. They've got a zip up the back. So you don't have to do all the laces. Um, when I got them, they smelt like industrial glue. So I had to leave them outside for quite a while. But um, they're really comfy. They're super cute. And, yeah, I love them. And oh, I don't know if I'm going to do this in order. I'm not sure. I think I got these ones next, which they've been on my blog. And actually, Witness just brought out a brand new... Pretty much this exact style, better quality of course, different feel. This is really rough and with the buckle and they're called Midnight. I think they're about $160. I think these are about 12 so there you go. They're really cute on and a thick chunky heel. It's quite high. It's not as high as you would think. But I do have one problem with these. They're a bit unstable so when you walk they tend to tip so just keep that in mind. Um, they are very cute. Check out my blog if you want to see them in a outfit post. So yeah. And then I got these ones. So cute. They're like little clogs and the little rivets here. Um, this is some ruffles. These are not as comfortable as you think. Of course this is fake. This is not real wood. It's like a plastic sort of thing. You can't tell if you look like that at all. At uh, the bottom, I've worn these twice and you can already see that they're starting to get a bit damaged, but I mean, they were very cheap. Um, but I think they're really cute. There are some of them come in apricot and I think a darker one too. This is the beige. But I will post all the links below. Have a look here. It's really cute. Um, but yeah. And then these, I love these. I haven't been able to wear them yet because they're a bit crazy. But I love them so much. They are just a nice wedge. That's pretty high. I think it's about 12, 13 centimeters. And with a platform. And it's just got a zip here. Probably machine embroidery, but it seems like wool. I love the color. They come in red and black as well. And they are amazing. They're really cool. Yeah. And these, I died when I saw these because I've been looking at the Dolce & Gabbana suede sling bag for ages. I'll post a picture. But they're very expensive so I didn't want to pay that much. And then I saw uh, Jeffrey Campbell came out with the Marielle wedge. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. But then I saw these and I almost died. Oh. Do you recognize them? They've just got an elastic here, which is stretchy. These are probably my favorite purchase. They look amazing on. I'm going to do a post soon to show these in action. Uh, I think that's about 13 centimeters as well. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of glue and whatnot, but I think these are about $15. Um, they're very comfortable, believe it or not, very comfortable. And um, that's the brand, I'm not even sure if you can see that, but um, I absolutely adore these so much, but yeah, I definitely recommend you give it a go, it's really cheap, everyone will wonder where you got these amazing clothes from, like these, I love them so much, and also, sorry, just quickly, quick note, another reason I love these better than the Marielle wedge is because they actually are a copy of the D&G, because this here goes all the way to the bottom, and here as well. Um, a cheap one of these, they're also available cotton on at the moment, I think, ruby shoes. 
and I've seen them in Aldo quite a while ago actually so I'm not sure if they're still there and they're probably about 100 and 120 as well so I definitely think you should give these a go. This dress for my school formal and I was really excited about it, it's so cute. I'll post a picture. When I got it, it was about the length of the top and there was no way I would be able to wear it. So I cut it up, I cut the skirt off and I um, put a new one, bought some new fabric. I changed the neckline also and put on a sash with a giant bow. So that's the front. This is the original. Um, I put this on with the skirt fabric that I cut off just here and I changed the neckline I just unpicked it and made it more of a sweetheart look and I made this sash put this on and I just stitched it in place put a new skirt with some darts um, no pin tucks sorry excuse me and just redid the hem I, I left the original lining because I didn't have enough fabric but I mean that is how short it was can you believe that and look it's like, yeah, it's pretty crappy. Um, I also had to get a new zip, but I thought I'd show you anyway, and then that's the back. So it was this V back, which I absolutely loved, and then I just made this bow and put some beads on it. That's actually with fishing wire, so it doesn't break. Um, but yeah, it looked gorgeous on, and that's it. So if you do have any problems, you can always alter it or change it or, you know, throw it out because it would be like $3. I think that was about $8 and they had it in red as well. But I think it would be quite cute as a top, so have a look. Thanks for watching. I hope I've helped you out somehow and definitely give it a go. If you find anything, feel free to post a comment or let me know your experience. So, yeah, thanks. Bye.